How's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Burton, creator of Crystal Witch Technology Screens, of course, using Smart Technology Gain. I'm doing this video. We're actually not going to do a video here. Actually, I'm going to be doing it downstairs. I'm going to show you already that I started uh, taping off my screen. <coughs> this screen is going to be using uh, the Eclipse um, Platinum Slate Nano. So that's what it's going to be using pretty soon. All right, so actually about the Nano, this screen right here. So this is going to be a Platinum, uh, platinum Slate upstairs. And then, downstairs, um, I'm going to be doing the motorized projection screen and a silver nano. And I'm going to be doing, actually I already have a couple of black nanos down here already. Alright, so today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on the silver nano versus the um, platinum slate nano. Uh, these are the two screens, actually three screens. Now keep in mind that the Eclipse uh, Nano Silver, Nano Black, and Platinum Slate, uh, they come in three colors. So to make it a little things a little more easier, because on the website we have like one for this color, one for that color, one for another color. What we're going to do is going to put them all on one, um, one for the two quarts, one for the one gallon. The one gallon actually will be available today. So one for the one quart, one for one gallon, and there'll just be a free color option in there. So you got a choice whether which one you want to pick. It's going to be a free color option. We're just going to add in there now. Just do it that way. I think it's a lot more easier. Um, also, to um, the wallpaper uh, projection train kits, which I'm showing over here. This is actually a black nano version of it. This comes with a free sheet of four by eight, very thin, flexible plexiglass. You can also curve this too if you just decide you want to curve your own screen. But yeah, so you have a choice whether you want this in the black, the silver, or the platinum slate. Um, also too, I wanted to add really quick, um, that particular kit, the wallpaper kit is not available overseas. Um, but we are working on that as we speak. Um, but as for the, uh, the screen paint kits, as in the two quart and one gallon, the new one gallon, that will be available for overseas shipping. So we can ship that to you overseas for free. Okay, so now I have the screen painted in half. Maya used a sprayer, so the trick of using a sprayer is to take a plastic bag and cover one side and tape it over, so that way none of the paint hits the other side of the screen. Use frog tape. That's how you do that right there. So I use the sprayer right there on the floor, apply it to the screen, and we're going to do it side by side with the silver and the platinum. All right, so let's begin. All right. Like I always said, that a screen that is darker will produce better contrast. The white levels will be fair. When you have a screen that is uh, lighter, it will produce better um, white levels, but the contrast will be fair. You know, one's going to have something better than the other. Now keep in mind that the platinum silver, um, sorry not platinum silver, the platinum slate, uh, the silver and the black nano are all $482, they're all the same price. So there's nothing like you're going to be thinking that okay this screen look, might look like a little more like this screen or that screen might look a little more like that screen and they're all charged different prices, no they're all the same price. And you see the contrast is going to be better on the platinum where colors are going to be a lot more, more brighter when it comes to the silver. But on the platinum side, the colors are gonna be um, a lot more richer, or they're gonna be a lot more lighter. Just to show you, and also too, what's amazing about the technology even though the silver nano screen is a very light screen, look how well it looks in a fully lit environment. That's one of the amazing perks of this technology. Even in a fully lit environment, usually most screens that have to deal with being in fully lit environments, the first thing these screens will do is start to wash out on you. It's one of the problems you'll have with a very light screen. They have to be done in dark environments because it's the only way the screen is going to thrive. A silver nano, as light as it is, doesn't need that requirement. Look at that. Doesn't need it. Because the screen is using our engineered technology gain times 10. We're the only ones who have that technology. All the way around. Look at 
that looks fantastic. The angle gain is fantastic. And like I said, we're not going to have a little light up in the, in the ceiling. The screen is going to be submerged in light. I had somebody ask me, does this have anything to do with um, the screen's ability to be able to produce an image in a well-lit environment? These screens are using smart technology game times 10. Doesn't make a difference, they're still going to show up. <coughs> Regardless. I'm going to come back here and show you where my projector is at. My projector is sitting 12 feet from the screen. Now, I've done this on small screens, I've done this on large screens, I've done my screens on 200 inch screens, 150, 180, you name it, 235.1 at 168 inches, 178 inches, 178 inches, you name it, I've done my screens on so many different size formats, it's not even funny. Then I'm at 21 feet back, then I'm at 30 feet back, then I'm with a, a LED light right and taped in the middle of the screen, and we've done some insane demonstrations over here. Even got screens that submerged underwater. I gotta get cracking. I gotta clean up my shop down here. Got trash bags in the kitchen, which we cleaning out the kitchen yesterday. Gotta get that out of here. And me and the wife are, we're looking at one. We're looking at a few houses. We're in the process of actually looking for a house, a bigger house. So that's, that's our next stage right there. We're looking for a much bigger house. Thought I would be here longer. <laughs> You know, it, it's all whatever God blesses us to have, where we're blessed to have. I'm very happy with it. Um, but um, He's always working on something new for us. So God is amazing. You know, some people don't even like it when I say that, but you eh, know, teach His own. I wouldn't be where I'm at now if it wasn't for the Lord. This is a fantastic example right here particular demonstration right here is a fantastic example. Now the beautiful thing about the Platinum is the Platinum gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you the dark contrast. It gives you the white levels um, where the black screen is going to give you um, a very, give you the best, actually a black screen is going to give you the best contrast you can get. It's black. But the white levels, like I said, are going to be a little bit silverish, you know what I mean? But it's very, it gives very good white levels for a screen that black. But for some people that just want that in between, they want a screen that's going to have good contrast, they want a screen that's going to have amazing contrast, or want a screen that's going to have amazing white levels, that's where you lean toward the platinum. People are into more brighter, whiter levels, silver is going to work for you. And those who want that deep, dark contrast, then the black screen is for you. But it doesn't make a difference what kind of environment the screen's going to be in, it's going to thrive. Ambient light, it's not going to be affected the silver screen. Look at this. Fully lit room, and that silver screen just looks at it and goes, what else you got? Alright, before my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Keep in mind, my projector has never been calibrated. No form of 4K upscaling. And we do not use, uh, what's the word for that? We don't ch change the factory default settings in our projector. We just don't. Just to give you an idea that we can just take something right out the box and just use it. Like I said, with the darker screens, the color is going to be a lot more darker, a lot more richer. But even with that, look at the silver. Even with the silver being this light, the color is fantastic. The white levels are fantastic. The contrast is good. And like I said, we could do this in a fully lit environment. It's not going to affect the screen in any way whatsoever. It's 
come over here for a minute. I'm going to do one soon, I think probably tomorrow, where I'm going to have it, where I'm just going to have the black, going to have the silver, and just going to have the platinum. Now this is with the lights out right here. Very easy to do. I get people give me comments, say, hey, why don't you do the demonstration with the lights out? I'm like, um, why? Does that, does that make it harder? You know, we just want to see if your screen can thrive with the lights out. You've got to be kidding me with that one. With the lights out, can the screen thrive? Any screen can thrive with the lights out. I can go down, go down um, to a Home Depot and pick up some cheap and bare silver screen paint and just add a little tiny bit of black in it. That's usually what they do. Add a little bit of black in it. And I'll turn the lights out and that screen will blow your mind. <laughs> it's a very trashy piece of crap of a screen. I've done these demonstrations against bare silver screen and it's garbage. It really is. I mean, like I said, there's no point in you going out and spending good money for a projector if you're just going to cheat it. I'm going to go out and buy something cheap. Yeah, you'd be surprised how much color you're literally missing from your projector. You're cheating your projector's performance so badly it's not even funny. Now see with the contrast here? On the platinum. See the screen, but you can see on the silver, it's not going to lose any color because it's next to a light. It's like going to a dealership and buying a Lamborghini and go, nah, 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 I don't want that high performance in engine. Give me that hamster on a wheel. I'll take that. It's kind of like you're cheating yourself. What's the point of having such a beautiful machine if you're just going to rip out the engine, the main part of it, and just stick a hamster wheel in it? Same thing like your projector. Spend the money for a very good high performance projector. It, it doesn't have to be high performance. Any projector is good. It's just you're cheating it. levels on this side are going to be better. They're going to be more superior because this is a lighter screen. Over here, it's going to be a little bit of silverish. Those are going to be darker here. They're going to be lighter there. Technology screens using smart technology game. Thank you all for watching. The Nano is available now. The wallpaper screen projection screen kits are available now. Monday, our dedicated projection screen theater. Uh, sorry, Monday, our dedicated 
ceiling projection screen paint will be available with the projectors. Down a little bit. Thank you all again.